What are they? Sea urchin larvae. Really? So you've seen sea urchin skeletons at the beach, maybe? Yeah. Oh, right? Yeah. So this is just the, we call this the test, right? And there are spines that come out of here. So when you see an actual sea urchin, it's all the spines. So these are either male or female. And they release eggs or sperm. And then when they fertilize, turn into that. And they'll live like that, floating around the water for a couple weeks to months. And then they'll metamorphose and they'll turn into little tiny, tiny wow. sea urchins that grow up to be. You know, this is a pretty small one. But or how old is something like that be? Is that like a year? Uh, this one is maybe between one to two years okay. for this species. How, how big they? This species maybe will get about that big, yeah. as big as. But there are some species down in Antarctica that are like this big. Oh, wow. And how long do they live? They live hundreds of years. Really? Wow. Yeah. Really? There's a sea urchin actually on the west coast called the red sea urchin. It's very common and maybe gets about that big. That they've aged to like 300 years for us. Wow. So that can be a problem. I mean, that's something that we think about is it can be a problem if there's some catastrophic event. We lose all these sea urchins. And it takes them 300 plus years to get to yeah. reproductive age. <laughs> yeah. That may be the end of them. Here's a different. This is a different. So why do some have the big body, round body, and some don't? Um, so I think that this is kind of a reserve of just tissue and fuel, and because they've been starved and we haven't been taking care of them, some of them are starting to resorb that. So okay. they're using that. So as these as seem energy. like they're more active with the cilia. Yeah. These really. Yeah. 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 Okay. So here's two. So have you ever been to an aquarium shop and seen what's called a pencil urchin? It's like those real thick spines. And they look kind of prehistoric. That's the this one is. I'm thinking about the beast and the spines still on. Yeah. 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 Well, this thing sharp or anything? I don't think I've ever seen one of those spines. I don't think I've ever seen one in general, just mm -hmm. on the beach. Yeah. I should have brought some pictures. Um, they, yeah, they can be sharp. They can be very sharp. Um, diadema. Sense, right? Diadema, right? Down in the Keys has yep. spines that are like this long. Big black sea urchins. And they have a toxin on, on the spines. <laughs> How'd that work out? It was like you had uh, like, um, fins for snorkeling. Yeah. Like, right through the heel of the fin. Mm. Yeah. Broke off in there. But she didn't have any problems from the poison. Like, oh. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> And then the, these have real short spines that are really strong, and they burrow in the rock. Wow. So they're sharp, but they're burrowed in the rock, usually. Like, yeah. Like, 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 so. And then this other kind, the pencil urchin, they're not sharp at all, and you can hold them in your hand. Huh. You remember that old game called Minesweeper? Yeah. 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 This has a mine, it has a mine with all the little spikes sticking out of it. Yeah. That's what this, this one looks like. Wow. It's alive. Urchin, sea urchin, sea urchin and larva. Middle space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the final frontier. And do they live up towards the coast or is it just anywhere in the ocean? Uh, they're, they're what's called intertidal, so they live in areas where the tide comes in and out. Okay. So all along the coast. Yeah. Which stage was which? Yeah. Find all these little tiny guys. Well, how, yeah. How would you find that and then know that it was? And know what it was. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there it's was some not, investigating. That. Yeah. You guys have to keep it alive and see what happened to it. Yeah. So this thing. I can't really tell if they're eating the algae very much though. So the specks are algae. Yeah. The specks are algae. Okay. It could be that they're all stuck on the bottom. The algae, algal mm -hmm. cells. They just kind of. Yeah, they just strip they're they're moving too somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're silly. So Aristotle first described the sea urchin anatomy, and he called this thing. Well, we refer to it as Aristotle's lantern, because if you put a light source in here, you'll see there are little holes all around it. it Looks like an old Greek lantern. Oh really? Yeah. You try that. Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. I have a. I got that one. I got me. Yeah. yeah, that'd be the best problem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at the look at the actual test though. See how it's lit up. Yeah. Here we can uh, brighten it up some. Yeah. So all those little pores. 
Yep, so the spines attach to these things. And then sea urchins have what's called a water vascular system, and they have all of these little appendages that stick out of each of those holes. And on the end of each of those holes is a little suction cup. 